Hi, my name is Zach McMullen. I'm a welding engineer with Miller Electric Manufacturing Company. Today I'm going to go over how to build an end table with the Multimatic 215. Uh, basically for this table, I just took a table that I have at home, copied the dimensions from it to make something similar size, um, and then I just went on the internet, I found a couple designs that I liked and incorporated the ideas into one simple design. So I just grabbed a bunch of one inch square, 16 gauge tubing. Um, I got all my pieces cut, I'm going to go ahead and put this together and get it all tacked together using the MIG process, and I'm going to go ahead and finish weld it using the TIG process. For this build, I'm going to tack everything together first, I'm gonna basically going to start at the bottom and work my way up. I'm going to tack the bottom part together first, then I'll go ahead and build the top, and then I'll attach the two pieces together. So I've laid out the bottom of my end table, and when you look at how I have this laid out, this tube is actually enclosed completely. So what will happen is when I start welding, the gas inside of the tube will start to expand. When I get to the end of the weld, it'll blow out through the weld and cause a big pinhole. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this tube and drill a little hole in the bottom to act as a vent so that that air has a place to go as it's warming up. So I got the bottom of the end table laid out. The bottom of the table consists of three pieces. This fourth piece here I just put in place to help with the warping when I'm welding it. Um, as you can see, I got everything laid out. I got magnets and the clamps holding it into position. I'm gonna go ahead and check the squareness by going from corner to corner with the tape measure one more time. And if we're good to go, I'm gonna go ahead and tack it into position. So for the top piece, I'm essentially going to do the same thing as the bottom piece, except I'm adding a, a fourth tube now. Uh, this fourth tube is also going to be completely enclosed in, so I went ahead and drilled my holes again to give, again, give the air a place to escape. I got everything all set up, clamped down, magnet set in place. I'll go ahead and check it one more time with the tape to make sure it's square, and then I'll get it all tied together. So I got the bottom piece back into position. I got everything clamped back down, made sure everything's square. I went ahead and I placed the two vertical legs in with the magnet. I'm just gonna check that it's level one more time and I'm gonna go ahead and tack it into position. So I got the final assembly here getting ready to be tacked together. Essentially what you're looking at is this um, end table is on its top right now. So this is the top and this is the bottom. Now I'm gonna go ahead and bind these two together now. So now the end table is all tacked together. To tack it together, we use the MIG process. To do the final welding, I'm gonna swap over to the TIG process in a couple easy steps. But before I do that, I'm gonna go through all my weld joints and I'm gonna clean them with some acetone. Uh, one of the keys to TIG welding is having a clean surface when you're welding, so I wanna make sure that all the weld joints are perfectly clean. So here we have our completed end table. Again, we use it to build this project, we use the Multimatic 215. The benefits of using the multi-process machine was that I was able to tack the project together using the MIG process with the C25 gas. Tacking with the MIG process is very easy, it's very quick. But then once I had everything tacked up, I was able to switch over to the TIG process, which allowed me to control the heat input into the part. It also gave me the ability to get some aesthetically pleasing welds. Setup was extremely easy on this machine because I just used the Auto Set Elite feature, which all I had to do was select my tungsten size, the material thickness, and it gave me my parameters and I was ready to go. For more information about the Multimatic 215 and for more project ideas, go to MillerWelds.com.